Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Pear Blossom Press video. Today we're going to be using a halo light and I'm gonna pair it up with some vellum, but these are what the halo lights look like if you've never seen them before. If you've ever watched me before, you know I'm obsessed with all things light up. We're also gonna be bringing in some of the sentiment stock and then we have these vellum packs. We've got some white vellum and then this other pack is filled with different colors. So I'm really excited about that. Then we have this darling little set. Um, it's like um, just a stamp and die bundle and I love the fonts in it. We're gonna pair it up with the Trinity Stamps Planet Earth die along with our Planet Earth banner sentiments. And then I also have a circle die that's gonna match that really well also. So let's go ahead and jump into how we're going to do this. I've picked out one of the circle dies that's going to match that earth die perfectly and I have a piece of craft card stock that actually measures four inches by five and a half inches so it's going to be a little bit smaller on the left and right hand side. You'll see a little bit of a white hand border over there and then I'm going to pull out one of these pieces of white vellum. Um, I want that vellum to be on the background. As you can see, the halo light is going to show, or it could show, through that circle. I didn't make the circle smaller than the halo light, um, and that's okay because the vellum is actually going to cover it pretty well. What I'm working with right now is this stuff called rip and stick tape. It's basically a double-sided adhesive. If you've worked with vellum before, you know that any type of adhesive that you use on vellum is going to probably show through. So the best way to combat that is to completely cover your vellum. So in this case, uh, I'm doing that also because I'm working with some very intricate dies. So I'm trimming this down. I've got my release paper that I just put back on there. This is also just so I can uh, see that little strip of adhesive that wasn't used with the vellum. But otherwise, this piece right here, this vellum, is completely covered on one side, well, yeah, on the one side with the, um, rip and stick. So when I peel that other side away, it's going to be, it's going to have adhesive on that as well. So it's great. And I'm, you can see my brain work in here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this vellum out using a circle that is bigger than the circle I already die cut out. And that's going to go on the back when I'm ready to use it. So we're just going to kind of wait on that because I want to go ahead and die cut out my earth as well. So to do that, I'm going to pull out this vellum and you're going to see, look at how many great colors of vellum come in this pack. I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to use a light blue and a green. And then I also just have this piece of cardstock that is like a gray. It's, it's a light gray, not super dark. So it's going to work really well with those two other colors of vellum. So I need to cut it out of that. And the gray is going to be for my outline of the earth. So I've got to save a few of those pieces. And then I've got the water for the blue and then the like the the vegetation is green. Okay, so I've peeled off that release paper. I'm sticking my um, panel right down on top of that and then I'm going to use the gray piece and we're just going to stick it right in there. See what I meant by how the, the layer circle worked really well with this planet Earth? And then I'm using some reverse tweezers and picking up the pieces of the earth that go inside those pieces. And then you can just use that tip to push that down into that rip and stick tape. And then I, there are other pieces of the actual like land, but I'm going to go ahead and put the water down first. So that way I can obviously piece it together the way it needs to go. So we're just making sure that it's sticking down where it needs to stick. We'll put in the those little gray pieces. Those are our outlines. And there's three of them total. And yeah, you could lose them if you're not careful, but it's actually really easy to keep an eye on them. And then I've got the, the rest of our ground. And we're just going to use our pickup stick to make sure that we put those pieces in there correctly. This one I did not put in correctly, so I've, sw I've pushed it or, you know, turned it, and now I'm pushing it back down. You can also use the end of this pickup stick to push those pieces down on the edges just to make sure, like I said, that everything is sticking where you need it to stick. That rip and stick tape is great, and that vellum's not going anywhere, um, but I just want to make sure that we're in there. So use the one wax end to pick the pieces up, and then the pokey end to make sure that everything stays down. Isn't that just adorable? I'm kind of in love. So now I'm going to just break off the excess pieces of our halo light. I'm going to pull out the piece that connected um, or, you know, kept the battery from connecting to the mechanism. I'm going to hang on to that though. You'll see what we're going to be doing with that later. 
Okay, our next step would be to get our card base ready to go. So I am going to put this vellum away. Our card base is just an A2 size card base. And if I had been thinking, after I cut the circle right out of that panel, I would have drawn like with a pencil through onto my card base just to make sure I knew exactly where my halo light was going to go. But it's really not that hard to figure out. And then I'm going to just mark it with a pencil on two edges there. And... Um, always checking and making sure that mechanism's working and that nothing's showing through. Um, and also I'm, I'm checking to see where that button is because I want to stamp with the cute little pear blossom press stamp set that has a matching die to go along with it for um, a few of those pieces in there. I just think it's so cute. And like I said, the font on the press here, I love it. I think it's so great. So I'm going to use this I'm sure for pretty much all of my light up cards from here on out because I just love it. All right, so I've got my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and ink up my press here. Make sure that I know exactly where the button is going to be and then I'll stamp that where the recipient needs to press. So that makes it super easy. And then, like I said, I'm gonna keep this stamp set out because <laughs> I, I wanna use it for some other things. So we need the push or the pull. I need the pull as well. So I'm going to stamp that on that little piece of paper that I saved from the halo light. I'll end up trimming it down just a little bit, but now the recipient can pull, knows to pull that out and then press here. And then on the back of our card base, I'm going to go ahead and stamp our little light bulb because I think I want that on all of my light up cards from here on out. It's just too cute. Like you just, you have to have it. Okay, so I'll put that away and then we can actually move on to adhering the halo light to our base. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our halo light and adhere it to the base. And in order to do that, I'm going to use some liquid glue. Using liquid glue will give me a little bit of wiggle room just to kind of know exactly, like just in case it's, it's off by just a smidge. If you use liquid glue, it's a little bit more forgiving using those little pencil lines that I marked on the edges. And then, as you saw, I pulled out a roll of foam tape. Now, this is the world's best foam tape. That is the name of it. And I, now that I've used it quite a bit, I'm going to say I agree. It is definitely the world's best foam tape. <laughs> it is double thickness, so it works really well, not only for your lights, but also for your shakers. Typically, if you're just using some regular foam tape, you'd have to double that up. But with this, you don't have to. It's the perfect um, thickness. And so I'm just going to make sure that I've put enough around there so that it won't collapse in around our mechanism. And then now I'm going to move on to stamping our banner. So that came from our Planet Earth banner sentiment. And there's our sentiment stock. If you have not used this stuff, I'm telling you, it's amazing. I use it for all of my black sentiments. I like to do the embossing with the white embossing powder on black cardstock. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know, even if I'm not doing a light up card, this is the stuff I grab for when I want to emboss. So I've used an anti-static powder tool on it. I've stamped that down with our juicy embossing ink. And then I covered it with some fine detail white embossing powder. Now I'm gonna heat set that until that is smooth and melted. But you notice all I had to do was tap off the excess because it did such a great job once you've used the anti-static powder tool with our sentiment stock because it's just so smooth, the little white embossing powder particles won't stick. Okay, so that's heat set. That's good to go. I can wipe away the anti-static powder tool later, but I'm going to use the dies to die cut out the pieces that I need. I'm using the smallest one. That's where I cut the sentiment out. The background one, I used some black on that. And then that middle piece, I just used a gray piece that I had it, that matched the earth. Um, so I'm, I'm gluing those pieces together. So now I can stick the sentiment right on top of our middle layer. And then I'll use some glue to adhere those two pieces down onto the back layer. Typically, I might use some foam tape on this, but since we are foam tape heavy on our card itself, I'm not gonna add any more bulk. And I'm just kind of obsessed with that little sentiment, how wonderful life is with you in this world. I need so many thank yous these days, um, and so this is gonna go to someone pretty special because, yeah, who doesn't wanna know that the world is a little bit more wonderful with them in it? 
So check it out. Everything's working great and kind of playing around with where I'm going to put that banner, but I decide I want to put it right over the earth. So I'm going to glue that down right on top of that. And after that, you could stop there. You could just call it a day. I think it's a nice, simple, very clean and simple car, just the way that it is. But I've decided I'm going to bring in the Pear Blossom Press Essential Gel Pens using the silver one, and I'm going to draw my own stars. So I've got some just little X's that I've put on there, some little dots. You'll see it when I show it up at the light, but I put them all over that background and they shine really well in the light. And it was fun to just kind of do that by hand. So take a look at that. Isn't that fun? I love this card. I hope you love it the way that I love it. If you do, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Pear Blossom Press has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, Instagram, all the things. You don't want to miss it. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.